Hi guys, welcome to The Outer Worlds. My name is Digi and today we're looking at the Illustrated Manual, which is a side quest of the main quest, which is the first quest in The Outer Worlds. So you come and see Vic to solve or sort out some main quest stuff. Check the top right hand side of the screen there for the main quest and all the side quests as well. Anyway, back to this. So Vic is going to give us his advice, good man Vic, but on top of that, Vic is looking for a book, not just any book, but a weird book. Anyway, we can help Vic find that book, and if we help, help yeah, Vic find the book, then Vic may, if we ask him to, join us as a companion. Isn't that pretty cool? So if you want Vic as a companion, it's worth completing the quest. Let's listen in to Vic. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. So Vic is all like, hey, can you retrieve the book? If you retrieve the book, I'll be right here. And we're like, sure, Vic, we're going to go and retrieve the book. So... Where is the book? Well, that's the big question. I mean, if Vic knew, then this wouldn't be the issue. Nonetheless, we have waypoints. Vic doesn't have waypoints. We have waypoints. We're going to follow this one. We're just going to pop out here and into our map. So it seems there's an abandoned outpost up here. I was considering the fast travel across the way there, but I, I thought better of it. I thought, hey, we'll just, um, we'll just take a quick sprint up here. There will no doubt be enemies to kill and opportunities to loot. Take them at your own leisure. In these little uh, tutorials or walkthroughs of the quest that I'm doing, I don't exactly wander around and pick things up and clear areas. I figure that's something left best to you. I certainly did it when I wasn't recording footage, but um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I won't be doing that. But there's loads of cool stuff around. I mean, pick everything up, sell it at vendors, rip it apart. Look, I'll give you an example. Weapon parts, see? that easy all right I'm pushing on so we're getting close now we're getting very close and i don't think we're going to be able to pull this off without conflict that's a shame end of conflict nope never mind <laughs> i thought maybe it would have been that easy it's not anyway lay into them and your companion if you chose to take a companion from the main quest then um yeah she'll She'll kick ass, is what she'll do. And she just informs me that is the last of them. Well, thank you for the update. We got to go and try and find this book. Just doing some quick looting. I know I said I don't loot much. I'm not going out of my way to loot. Oh, there it is. It's the cannery, by the way. That's the building. In we go. So there is loot upstairs as well, I believe. There's a terminal here if you want to have a read of it. Which you should be reading those. There's some good banter on those, I must say. Occasionally, they do update a quest here and there as well. Um, not needed for this one. So if we go in here and we pick up this and we examine it, it's all like, oh, well, you know, I've been relocated and whatnot, so I've had to hide my books. So I've hidden them in a river, <laughs> in a cave by a river. Because, you know, you, you, you want to make sure that they don't get wet or anything like that, right? So where else would you keep them? So we're going to have to relocate here, all the way across the map, over here. Hey. So let's get to that. So yeah, it's like, it was going on saying that. It's like, you know, the, the collector didn't want, I think mold was his problem in that letter. Have a good read, let me know if I was right or wrong, I'm just going off memory. But I think mold was his main concern. He didn't want to just happen to leave his books there and have to deal with the mold problem. And I couldn't blame him, but then... I don't agree with hiding them here by the river. That's just me. Anyway, we make our way along the river. 
And when we come in here to the right and we hold the right again, there's a safe. And inside the safe is the book in question. Indeedy. There's a mine there. Now, my eyes were elsewhere at the time, but I managed to shoot it, but not on time. Took a bit of damage, not too much damage though. So there's a few little things you can pick up here. You need, I think, uh, lockpick level three. So you should definitely be leveling, oh, five. You should definitely be leveling up your lockpicking. If that's something you're not already doing, you should really start doing that. It's gonna make life so much easier. So we're gonna to return to Vic and uh, hand back in the book. We're gonna to listen to him there for a little bit as well because Vic can be funny. Vic can be funny when he loses his patience. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful, this is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he said the is F word. French? I can't fucking read French. Said it again. It's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. So yeah, there it is. Uh, Vic is totally going to come with us and everything's going to be kumbaya and, you know, it's all going to work out pretty well because of that damn effing book. I can't believe the Vic dropped the F-bomb, like, twice. Anyway, hopefully you found that video some bit useful and you do check out the main campaign as well, where, as I said, I have linked off to all the cool side quests. Anyway. If you liked the video, please do take a moment to hit that like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. A share is also always appreciated. So thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.